Hey, what is going on, guys? My name is Bubloon, aka Pabloon, and today we are reviewing the first ship of December here, the West Virginia 41. And as you can see, there's this tiny little gnome guy. I actually think it's the mascot for World of Warships dressed up as a gnome, a Santa gnome. So this is the West Virginia 41, a tier 6 version of West Virginia, the original being a tier 7. And here you have the historical camo, so you can see what the ship looks looks like, you know, by default, I guess. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty it's a pretty cool ship, but I have to say right off the bat, it's also a pretty boring ship. Um, and as I will show you guys why I think it's pretty boring. The historical camo gives you range and dispersion, but you get torpedo damage reduction, whereas this camo gives you max traverse speed, which on this ship, trust me, you want to be a little bit more nimble because it is, of course, very slow. We take an advanced gun director to get more range instead of the battleship modernization. And then we move on to the build here and um, we put on the, you know, the Christmas camo here instead. It's a nice little camo. We like it. And uh, let's move on to the equipment here. I went with reload, actually, because you don't, you know, the, the main traverse, main battle traverse wasn't too bad, I feel. But you could opt for it. I took reload because it's good for a battleship, in my opinion, especially low tier. I did use a level 12 commander here, but I felt like it needed something, you know, to so we can see the potential of this ship because it, on paper it looks super boring. And the reason I'm not even going into the details of the ship so you can see the ship skills is because it doesn't have any ship skills. It's completely bare bones. It has 406 millimeter guns, just like West Virginia, and there's eight of them. So... It's a pretty basic battleship, and I'm guessing it's going to be in a Blitz Pass or something like that. Maybe we get a double Blitz Pass, maybe we get both the Huron and the West Virginia. Huron we haven't seen yet, but I expect to see it on my channel at some point. Because it just seems like this is a little bit of a boring ship, but that might just be me. If you're a battleship player, this could definitely just be, you know, right up your alley. It's a basic long-range sniper battleship that's pretty tanky i mean you've played the west virginia you've played the colorado guys we, we we know what this is so the reload on my build here is 19 seconds flat that is pretty good i would say um, and they are like i said four or six millimeters so pretty big caliber but one thing i noticed and you will see that here in the gameplay as well is that the dispersion is pretty bad from what i know the west virginia maybe it doesn't have any details but I'm pretty sure it has a precise aim of some sort. Or maybe I'm remembering wrong. But I actually don't have the West Virginia guys. Never played it. Never had it. I know it's a ship everyone owns. But for some reason, I just don't have it. I don't know how you guys got it. But nonetheless, it's a, it's a it feels like it's just a scaled down version of West Virginia. And I don't know if West Virginia, the original one, has really good dispersion. But this was probably the best salvo I got throughout the whole game. Uh, we got one Citadel. And we did get, you know, a nice cluster of shells, but, you know, the next salvo is continuing, continuing on from this as this CV here, Admiral Squid, is pushing in. You can see the dispersion is all over the place. At least that's not what I would, what I would hope for, for a BB that doesn't have anything in terms of skills. So we are playing here with uh, two people from Sly 47's fleet, and uh, one of them, Darth Shabu. I'm pretty sure, yeah, you're, 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 you've been a viewer for a long time. If you're watching this... GG, well played. It was nice to have you guys on my team, and uh, I don't know what this CV is doing, but <laughs> he, he had a game. I don't I don't know if he was pressing, you know, forward and forgot what he was doing, but it looked like he had ample time to actually react. And here we see a Nicholas moving in, and I thought to myself, well, I am full HP. This Nicholas cannot take me out in one fell swoop, so let's just try to save our CV, you know, from a torpedo strike. And also just because, I mean, this ship, it must be able to do something good. And I guess we dealt with this Nicholas pretty well. Um, it is a tanky battleship, as you can see. They barely touched us, these torpedoes. So, tanky, slow, big guns, and a pretty decent reload. That's pretty much what this ship is. And here we're going to go brawl with a Koenig just to see what what's the brawling capabilities. How survivable is this ship? Can you take a big salvo from another BB at close range? And I think most of you can guess that, yes, you can. And it all comes down to angling. And we're going to do a pretty nice angle here to counteract his main battery shell. So it is December, and um, I'm kind of interested to see what Wargaming have in store for us this December. There's always a Christmas event. And, you know, the, the events this year haven't not, or at least the latter half of the year. I'm thinking mostly Halloween. And Thanksgiving was also kind of meh, in my opinion. 
the Black Friday event is was decent, if you ask me. It is a, an event for people that spend money in the game, so it kind of makes sense that it is the whale's dream. But I'm hoping that Christmas here is going to bring some, maybe some personal challenges. I think we would love to see that again. So all the free-to-play players can maybe get a legendary commander or a nice premium. It would just be nice to see the you know general community having an, an opportunity to you know get something for Christmas. It, it would be nice. I don't know if that's going to be the West Virginia. I don't know how this is going to come out, but I am, like I said, guessing it's a Blitz Pass ship. And I think I'm going to skip this here because it is, I mean, a pretty boring game. I'm going to see you guys when we're close to getting the Dunkirk here. Yeah, we just skipped ahead because, well, this ship, as you can see, the maximum speed is just over 20 knots. It's barely anything, and it is just like the other, you know, I, th I can't remember what the name of this type of battleship is. It's a type of battleship that was on plans in the U.S. Navy, but they opted for the Iowa class instead. And it's, we, we could have seen, you know, in real life, these types of ships being built, the Vermont, the Minnesota, instead of the Iowa and, well, the whole Iowa class. These types of ships, slow moving, big barrage battleships, not my type of playstyle, but I know some people love them. And honestly, tier six is one of those tiers that is kind of enjoyable. It's a slow tier and there's a lot of, you know, newer players that tend to make mistakes. It's a pretty fun place if you're experienced, but it's also not so low tier that, you know, ships that, for example, let's take the, the French cruisers. The French cruisers at tier six, five and four are really fun because they retain what the tier 9 and 10 or the tier 8 for that matter also have you know fast reloading guns good speed so we have a west virginia now that is a tier lower that's pretty much it it's the west virginia 41 and it's in my opinion without having played the west virginia but just from, from what i can see when i've faced them it seems like this thing is exactly the same as the tier 7 but those of you who've played the west virginia the original one can tell me if i'm uh, completely off Pretty decent game, 67k, this was actually my first game. And I chose to take this because I don't really think we're going to see much different from this. So here we have him, the little gnome on the West Virginia 41. I can't remember what ship is getting another Christmas camo, but I have some urge telling me it's Schlieffen. Or s at least one of those ships, maybe Prince Ruprecht. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, if you are going to be getting this ship, it's a pretty solid one. It's a pretty, pretty vanilla, pretty boring too, but also consistent. My name has been Bubloon, a.k.a. Pabloon, and I am signing out.